It's Donald Trump's latest money-making scheme, gold sneakers. That's the real deal. The former president launched the Never Surrender High Tops at Sneaker Con in Philadelphia, and he got a mixed reception. There's a lot of emotion in this room. This dude paid $9,000 for an autographed pair. The case is a complete and total sham. Trump spent the weekend slamming the New York judge who fined him $355 million. Crooked judge, crooked judge. He's a crooked judge. $50,000 worth of... We're following breaking news tonight at 6 out of North Mississippi, where a police presence is unfolding in Holly Springs. Good evening to you, and thanks for being with us. I'm Shay Arthur. Now, we have a crew on the way to that scene that's off East Dorn Avenue. We'll keep you updated as we learn more information tonight. And new tonight, five men are facing charges. Get this, they're accused of stealing $50,000 worth of Nike sneakers from a train boxcar. Memphis police say it was a tip from a concerned citizen that led them to make that discovery. WRG's Alan Self brings us the details in this case tonight. Shea investigators say an absurd amount of merchandise was found and police were able to make arrests after an anonymous tip. After getting a call from a concerned citizen, an officer arrived to a house on Todd's Creek Cove in Frazier. According to reports, the officer called back up after noticing several men loading large boxes into a Dodge Durango. When additional officers came to aid the arrest, they located a total of 68 cases of Nikes, 35 in the Durango, 3 in another vehicle, and 30 more in the home the suspects were coming from. This all happened yesterday from around 9 a.m. until around noon. CSX Railroad and Nike representatives arrived to the scene as well confirming these cases of Nikes were stolen overnight from this rail yard behind me. In North Memphis, Alan Self, WREG News. All right. So, first and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash, Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rue well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. A Shalom to you, Akiam. Shalom to you, very few sincere Akwaf. And Shalom to the 144,000. Now, it's going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shad. It's your brother, Debar Kabash, coming back at you from the GMS Charlotte, North Carolina camp with a quick lesson to edify through the Rakah Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit. And, uh, you know, you saw these two articles here, man. All right now, excuse me if they were a little messy. You know, I didn't have, you know, didn't have them really, you know, but anyway. Right. You know, everybody's bugging out now. Right. About these gold Donald Trump sneakers. You see that, you know, one guy paid over nine thousand dollars. Right. For um, for a pair of shoes. And then these five bug outs right here. Right. Got caught. Right. Stealing. You see that over fifty thousand dollars worth of Nikes, man, off of a uh, off of a train, man. You see. So. You know, I don't know what's going on, you know, with you individuals out there, you know, when it comes to these damn sneakers and these shoes, you know, you see Jake spending three, four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars for a pair of damn kicks, man. Right. And it's just it just shows you right where our people minds are, man. You know, these five niggas here. Right. And yeah, I'm going to say that's exactly what they are. Travion Smith, Raheem Tuggle. Troy Gaines, right, with the long-ass dreadlocks. I knew that was going to be in the midst. Darren Stewart and Tracy Fleming, right, five assholes, right? They got caught, man, right? And that's judgment from the Lord, man. You see that? They lucky that the, the, uh, the, uh, the police didn't put these five individuals to death, right? And I'm surprised that Eve isn't involved in this, you know, anywhere. But, yeah, man, right, just showing you, you know, the two, you know, two third, of, you know, what their mind is, man. All right, worry about some funky ass shoes. Now again, it's not a sin, all right? You know, you brothers and few sisters out there, you know, you buy yourself a decent pair of kicks. You know, I, you know. Now me personally, you know, if you see me, I might have on a pair of work boots or 
you know, Timberlands or some Pumas and all that shit. But I try to stay away from Nike, man. You see? You know, I mean, again, it's not, you know, it's not a sin if you're going off. But just the point is, brothers, right, it's a lot of shit that's going on, you know, revolving around these damn shoes, man. You see that? And Esau, right, uh, 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 brought out the gold kick. Where is it at? Esau brought out the gold kick, and you know Jake gonna go nuts. I see Jake now walking around with uh, uh with uh, uh mega hats on, man. Jake, you know. So yeah, man. All right. Let's go ahead and read this here, man. This is the book of Saint Matthew, chapter nine, verse night. I mean, uh, chapter six, and I'm start at verse nineteen. And it reads, "Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth." You see that? So don't worry about. This shit that you, you know, these Nikes and these raggedy ass gold shoes and all, uh, Trump shoes, really. If I see, if I see a Jake out there walking around with a pair of gold shoes, I'm going to scream, man. St. Matthew 6 and 19, lay not up yourselves, uh, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do of corrupt. And where thieves break through and steal. You see that? So just like these dudes here, right? Don't worry about no stupid ass shoes, you Jake. Right? Because, you know, again, you can have five weirdos, right, run up in your house, man, and take your shoes. You see? So, you know, it, you know, just people's minds are just we have a very warped way of thinking, man. Let's read it again. St. Matthew 6 and 19, lay, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do of corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. You see that? So don't worry about this shit, but lay up, but listen to this, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. You see that? How do you do that? You do the work of the Lord. You sisters out there, try your absolute best, right? To do what the scriptures tell a woman to do. You know, try your best to rehearse the righteous acts. You men do the same thing. You men supposed to be out there teaching, you know, doing lessons, you know. So yeah, man. So this is how you lay up for yourselves treasures, man, in heaven. Right? Where neither moth nor rust do of corrupt, but where thieves and where thieves do not break through and steal. So that's right, man. So in heaven, thieves ain't going to uh, 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 break, you know, break in and steal your stuff. For where your treasure is, right, there will your heart be also. You see that? So just like these five dudes here, right, this is where their heart was, right, on some stupid punk-ass shoes, you know? Punk-ass, weird-ass shoes, man. Jake loves that. You know, you got the gold at the top and, you know, got the red bottom, you know. Esau, uh, 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 Esau has done a diligent search on you Israelites out there, man. He know what you like and what you don't like, you know? So, you know, let's go ahead and grab this too, you know, since we're talking about Nike. You know, just a little uh, information for you brothers and few sisters that didn't know this, man, right? Nike was actually a Greek goddess, man. It says in Greek mythology and ancient uh, uh, religion, Nike, you see that? Ancient Greek uh, Nike victory, you see that? So Nike met, uh, it represents victory, man. Right? That's why you see all them athletes out there, you know, walking around with, uh, with uh, and this is how she looked, man. You know, that's why you see athletes around there, you know, always around here wearing Nikes, man. You see that? With the hopes to win, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can, uh, I was going to read, read into this a little bit. You know, uh, I'll read a little bit. It says, uh, I'm just going to read just the top part. It says, um, is the goddess, right? Nike, who, uh, who personifies victory in any field, including art, music, war, athletics. You see that she is, uh, often portrayed in Greek art as winged victory. You see that? That's why that's why you see that that little swoosh, man. It looked like so it looked like a wing. Um let me see here. She is often portrayed in Greek as a winged victory in the motion of flight. However, she can also appear without wings as wingless victory when she is being portrayed as an attribute 
of other deities such as Athena. You see, so <laughs> the point is, right? Let me see. Let me see if I can find some images. You know, matter of fact, look. You see the wings? See the wings, Jake? What are they like? They're like a, 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 a Nike swoosh, man. Let me see. Jake be bugging out out here over some punk ass shoes. I probably could find a good, a better picture if I um, go into it. But you know, now you know what the hell Nike means, man. Right? So you know, again, you know, you see these weird ass people out here, right? <laughs> Give me some Nike, brother. You know, they probably was hoping that they uh, uh ran into some damn Donald Trump shoes. <laughs> You know, Jake Wicked, man. You know, when scriptures tell you, do not steal. You know, so let's go ahead and grab this here, man. Uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 6, it reads, Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low places. That's right, man. You know, <laughs> like these guys right here, this is folly, man. I right, probably get these dudes here 20 years. You see that for stealing shoes, right? When all of this shit here is going to pass away anyway. You know, but Jake being a dumbass, you know, as a matter of fact, let me, let me read this here, man. Colossians chapter 3, verse 2, it reads, set your affection on things above, right? Not on things of the earth. You see that? So when you out here, you know, worry about some, some raggedy ass shoes, you know, like, shoes, brother, shoes, right? It's just it's ugly for real. <laughs> you know, and yeah, man, they ugly, man. You know, and I'm pretty sure, you know, Donald Trump weird ass, you know, he probably uh paid Jake, you know, to make him some shoes, you know. And again, Esau know what you like, man. You know, you know them niggas out there like, you know, I like to go with the, you know. <laughs> you know, so, you know, I just want to do this lesson here. I mean, you know, nothing deep, right? Because all of it, again, is going to pass away anyway. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 29. And it reads, but this I say, brethren, the time is short. That's right. The time, everybody, every, if you listen to this video, you should know that the time is short. And if you don't, and guess what? If you're watching this video and if you don't know that the time is short, the most high is not dealing with you. Continuing on, it says, it remaineth that both they that have wives as though they have none. That's right. So don't worry about shit, man. And even your women. Verse 30, and they that weep as though they weep not. And they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as though they possess not. That's right, because nothing matters on this side, Jake. It's it, it, all of his grade come to an end. First Corinthians seven and thirty one. And they that use this world as not abusing it. You see that? So you're supposed to use this world for what you can get out of it, man. But don't abuse it. You see, Jake out there, you know, uh, 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 yeah, man, going too far, man. For the fashion, right, of this world passive away. You see that? So the fashions, right, of this world here are going to pass away anyway. You know, but Jake, you know, crazy, wicked, retarded ass, man, likes stuff like this. They do. He does. You know, you got Jake out there talking about, I'm going to get away to Donald Trump, right? High tops. Nigga, please. Let's go ahead and bring in one more precept, man. I'm going to shut it down. All you niggas out there, I, I, I love my stuff, brother, right? That's, that's, that's what we're going to find out what's going to happen to your stuff. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord, right, will come as a thief in the night. I don't have to break that down. In the which the heavens, right, will pass away with a great noise. And if you don't know what's going on here, I don't know what else to tell you. And the elements, right? Listen, it says, and the elements, like your raggedy ass Nikes, shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. You see that? So, you know, this was going to happen, right? Two thirds of our people worry about these raggedy ass shoes. And, and this is what's going to happen to your raggedy ass shoes. You see that? They're going to melt, right? A lot of you, Jake, out there are going to be incinerated. Right, and you're gonna die in your Nikes. A lot of Jake die in Nikes, man. They do. You know, they might have one Nike on, but you know, a lot of a lot of Jakes die in Nike shoes. You see, that may be the title of the lesson. 
you know, so don't worry about these damn shoes on this side, man, you know, <laughs> Esau, you know, I mean, scripture tell you that we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man, you know, but a lot of Jake are ignorant, you know, so, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much going to end this video right here, brothers and sisters, you know, don't worry about these stupid ass shoes, man, you know, so next time I say, shalom.